God damn it. I'm gonna have to cut this into two videos. Just keep shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in for the last half an hour. Now we're gonna do the next half of four. four. Oh, technical difficulties abound today. So, one of the most important ingredients in this recipe is crushed ice. Like, super crushed ice. So, I prepared some earlier by beating the shit out of it, just like Martha taught me. Ah. There we go. That's good. All right, we're going to call it good. And add lovely little cocktail on top. So my, in my opinion, the key to a good bee's knees is to let it sit after you pour it for a little bit. This ice needs to melt a little bit, and that's because how much lemon juice you put in, mm -hmm. it really needs to just kind of... Perfect. <laughs> just kind of needs to um, melt a little bit. So we're actually going to set that Give down while Keith makes our drink from the 40s. Which is going to be the White Lady. You were with us when we did the Pink Lady. This one, I'm afraid, is not going to be as pretty, but it is going to be tasty and very, very simple. Now, whenever you use a martini or cocktail glass, always get that ice water in it, get it cooling down. Now, this one, we're going to have, remarkably again, shot of gin. We're going to do a half ounce triple sec, a half ounce lemon juice, we're going to need to find more lemon juice. We can do that. Half I ounce. I have lemon, real lemons in my house. Well, it's just, you're taking all the fun out of this. Well, you can squeeze them into that plastic bottle. <laughs> You can squeeze them to squeeze them again? Yeah. I don't want you adding this redundancy like to my Charmin. life. It's like Charmin. Double squeeze. <laughs> it's not like pre-squeezed there. Isn't it? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, no. I bet the next is. time I wipe my ass, that's going to concern me. Whose hands have been on this? More than you want to admit. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> All right. And this is that egg white. So what we did here, just so you guys know, is we use, again, the egg white powder, which for those who are nervous of egg whites might be a really good intro. You can pre-make a bunch in a squeeze bottle like that and then just refrigerate it and you have egg whites for cocktails. And a big part of that is it has this nice, silky, creamy texture. Take it again. Shake it. So when you did that, you stripped a whole tripod. And I'm not mad about it. So this is what we would call a hard shake. Oh, so hard. So hard. <laughs> Vigorous. That's, yes. Wait, we'll get to vigorous shaking. We're doing for decade week a excessively vigorous cocktail. Are we doing week. that this week? We are doing that this week. So that's the entire we make it, and then the entire time we're talking, we're just shaking. The it, whole right? video will just be us shaking back and forth. But honestly, our super sneaky, awesome trick involving the. I agree. I think we can cut that time down from five minutes to a minute and a half. Oh, I'm pretty sure we can. But we so need look to add more that. water. So yeah. that'll give it that nice, Zoom silky, frothy head. Mm -hmm. So this is a white lady. Again, look at how fantastic. This will not look like this if you don't use the egg white. So mm -hmm. do not be afraid. All, All right. right. Which one do you want, Keith? I think that... Um, oh, we have a needs... third. Oh, we have a third. I remember you put three on Clearly, here. I do not remember what I said. I have no idea what I did. I have no idea what I decided was a good idea for today. Tell me what I said we were doing. The Gin Ricky. Oh, how could I forget? Now, again, it probably because it's been a hell of a day. So it's been a three-drink day. It has been a three-drink day. Um, this is one of my favorites. It's pretty simple. Now, unfortunately, my poor little lime has dried out a little bit. So we're going to be combining it with a little bit of Rose's lime juice while we're at this. But my preference, I take, I add shot of gin. And then three quarter ounce, because we are gonna be adding that sweetened lime juice. Three quarter ounce simple syrup. 
So if you are using regular lime juice, use a little bit more simple You're syrup. You're going to want more simple syrup. But Again, that already has our lime juice is lime juice and simple syrup combined. It's a real time saver. There's my musical reference for today. <laughs> well, my favorite part of a jinriki is normally you take a lime, you cut it in half, and then you just mash the crap out of it, which unfortunately... Otherwise known as muddling. Oh! No. no! I like mine better. And you actually want to get that peel in there because all the oil in the lime peel... It's where the best flavor comes from. ...is going to be... Well, it's a lot of that, like, essential lime flavor. Mm -hmm. The lime juice has the, you know, the acid and the tartness, but the lime oil is where you're actually going to get all of that nice flavor. But that oil is also alcohol-soluble, so by having it already with the gin, all the better. So, we've mashed the crap out of it, my technical term. We add our ice. And then this is where things get real interesting because we have a rocks, we have a cocktail, and we have a highball. A highball. You now know how to make all of these. Remember, we went, we had a martini week. Remember. Remember. Remember, if you've been paying attention. Anyway. Yep. Here's some drinks to help with all right, our so day, have, really. Just in case people, I don't figure out how to cut these into two videos and people just want to watch one. A gin ricky. Um, is really simple. It is gin, simple syrup, lime juice, and club soda, and it is refreshing as all get out. The White Lady is our, these are all of our 30s and 40s cocktails. A White Lady is gin, egg white, lemon juice. Do we use a little bit of simple syrup? No. Um, there is a little bit of simple syrup. Very little. Um, and then the Bee's Knees, which is my favorite, is gin, Baron Jaeger, mm -hmm. lemon juice, and crushed ice, and yes, crushed ice is key there because it needs, that water needs to melt in there. Um, again, we'll have the recipes up at some point, but now we're going to drink. Which one do you want, Keith? Um, and I'm leaving the camera, so deal with what the frame looks like. Actually, I kind of want to try a sip of all of them. Okay. I know this is my favorite. Okay, so you'll drink those. that. This is my favorite. Okay. So I'll drink this, and then I do want to try both of those. White lady's nice. Very nice. Well, that's a delightfully refreshing little martini. Mm-hmm. Do you mind if I see how the beans Not at all. Up? Again, it, I do prefer Baron Jaeger almost all the time. Wow. I think a lot more people... Don't be afraid of this white lady cocktail. Don't be afraid of the white lady. No. And that... Or the bee's knees. It's a lot of booze, but it's... It's a lot of booze, but damn, is that nice? It, and again, the honey is not, for people who are like, well, I don't really like honey, it's not... It's a finish. Yeah. It's not, it's not the key part of it. And of course, nice and refreshing. God. Baron Jaeger is just such a good liquor. Underused. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then the Jim Ricky, this is my, like, light go-to. It's never wrong. It's never it's wrong. It's never wrong. It's never crazy boozy. It doesn't have to be crazy sweet. Um... Uh, See, but see what I mean though with the crushed ice? Mm -hmm. You have to use it because it needs to melt a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, much like a mint julep. Otherwise it's too Otherwise syrupy. Otherwise it's too much. It's too, too much. Thick. Yeah. Um, letting that melt a little bit is the key. But that is one of mm -hmm. my favorite cocktails. So this represents what was considered the pinnacle cocktail of, between the 30s and the 40s. Again, the first mm -hmm. couple of years of the 30s there was... Legally, no drinking. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice a lot of them, <laughs> simplicity is big. And you can tell what parts of the country they would have originated, yes. what was really popular one place versus another. Yes. Um, obviously, the white lady was a lot more complicated. It would be fun if, as this goes on, which hopefully not for much longer, but we know till May, uh, getting into some of the really kooky old Mr. Boston's that oh, no, I think that'd be like fun. a full-blown egg or, it, yeah. Yeah, like real egg. Yeah, like, like the ones where we're going to look yeah. at each other and be like, oh, this is supposed to be that thing that you drank because you were crazy <laughs> drunk the night before. Yep. No, um, that would be fun to get into. But yeah, these were, again, a lot of gin cocktails in the 30s and 40s because that's what they had in Prohibition. Mm -hmm. um, gin was the easiest mm -hmm. to make, which is also why it was so bad. Well, um, yeah, and I was going to say the easiest yeah, to make I, is Yeah, easiest, a, I air quoted. It was easy to turn crappy moonshine into... 
something that had flavor, quote unquote. Yeah, it crappy gin. Um, mm -hmm. And then you would take crappy gin and you would mix it sense. with stuff to make it right. much more palatable. Um, but that concept of getting used to drinking gin continued on in the late 30s and through the 40s. And honestly, um, through um, you know the war and stuff, um, these mm -hmm. simple but effective yeah yes um, cocktails where you didn't you know you didn't need all these crazy you know you used ingredients you could find anywhere lemon mm -hmm. egg white it, honey that was it like mm -hmm. they're very simple and used again that whole concept of conserving and not overbuying but you know mm -hmm. um, these were very popular in the 30s and 40s I'm actually surprised I'm the bee's knees has seen its mm -hmm. mild resurgence with the craft cocktail movement the Ricky has mm -hmm. never gone out of style. I'm actually surprised at how much I really like this white lady. You know what I think would be interesting? And I don't know if it happened. So people are still leery a little bit of egg white. Even they though are. we've been preaching how you can use this powdered egg white. It's right. just delightful. I, one of these days, what is the name of it? It's not aqua, aqua vita or whatever, but chickpea... Uh, have you ever heard this? Chickpea juice. Yeah. Whenever you get canned chickpeas can be used as a replacement. For egg white? For egg white in a lot of recipes. It has a flavor. I'm curious to but see. But it's nutty. I'm curious to see if it could be used as a replacement for, and it has a really, someone gave it a really fancy name. It's like aqua vitae or something. Right, like, like so yeah. Someone that doesn't say chickpea juice. Yeah, orange roughy is not actually, yeah. it's, you know, no, like no, no, some no. sort of disgusting. Yeah. Sawtooth eel or something, but we named it orange ruffy. Ruffing, and people and use it. It's more charming. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Garbanzo bean gravy. Is yes. Not not be <laughs> so, but I wonder if that would work the same way as this powdered egg white in some recipes. Now, again, we've shown you great ways to use it, and powdered really, egg white. This is going to do a ton to your cocktail game. Oh. The hardest part is finding friends to share it with. Yes, because you're going to buy off so, Amazon. Yeah. It. We bought off Amazon, and I think we spent four or five bucks. Of course, we have Prime. If you don't, you're going to pay two, three more bucks for shipping. Um, you get... This is how much we got. You get 16 ounces. This will last you your life. This will last your entire life. It took... I overdid it by putting a tablespoon in here. Almost meringue. Yeah, yeah, I did. I mixed this in the blender bottle, and I could have easily just whipped this into meringues. Um... It doesn't take much for your home bar, especially if you're worried about having stuff going bad. This is wonderful to have on hand there. <laughs> um, which is why I like this option. So I have one of these at my house, mm -hmm. but I'll just make this up fresh with just a little bit. Keep this in the fridge. Last, you know, five to six days. It's great for a cocktail party. Yeah. Um, and then just dump it out and make another make, one. Make another one. Um, oh. These little squeeze bottles are great, but... Don't be afraid of egg whites. Please use them. It does. They're, it makes it's amazing. For people who like sours, put some egg white in there and you will be like, why have I been drinking without this? Well, there's tons of cocktails that go with any, any cocktail that you want to have that nice silky velvety texture, but you don't want to accidentally make cottage cheese because it uses too much acid or citrus. Because you're drinking it? it yes. No, any cream, <laughs> any cream, and somewhat, you, if you haven't discovered this, yes, accidentally you will. If you add lemon juice to anything made with cream, yes, you're going to make curdle. cottage cheese. And there's actually recipes that call for that. There's clarified milk punch. That is... It does. I don't yeah. want to know how long this will go before we start playing with clarified milk punch. I but hope we don't. Well, the punches are a whole different class. They are, but clarified milk punch is its own weird... It's a you keep the proteins, the 50s, but you get rid of the see, fat. And you... When we get to the 50s, it was very dairy-based. Mm-hmm. But they're also putting, like, vegetables in their jello and... Yeah, well, and they moved completely there. to using Crisco shortening for mm -hmm. everything. Mm, that's true. Hair, beauty products, <laughs> food, pies. Sole purpose. Yeah. This, again, this white lady, I'm actually... It's been a lot... What's funny is... I'm the one back in the day who was at the champagne bar put this back on the menu. Um, and it sold really well, but every time I revisit it, I forget how nice it is. You know what I'd love to add to that? Because again, me over complicated. Something complicated? Anything. Not terribly though. That would accept just about any bitters you put with it. Agreed. I think some orange 
um, even some blo orange blossom water. Yeah. Kind of. It, it's so light and easy. Yeah. That you could that's, that's accent a, it with anything you want. Yeah, that's the problem with that being that dangerous, though. That, that is pure liquor, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that one will go down pretty quick. Well, do we have any shout outs today? Again, sorry for the oh. technical difficulties. Yeah, I know. We don't have any questions because, well, um, uh, you can't. You sorry. can't. The internet, oh. hopefully, we have it back up tomorrow. Yeah. They have no idea who done Doug wrong. Who, who, who did it? <laughs> who called Doug wrong? Um, well, I do know for a fact that with refreshing things on a nice day, I got some of the Washington Creamery the other mm. day. That was spectacular. Now, they were out of the lemon bar, which is one of my favorites, but I got the chocoholic, and that has been taking this treating behind me the camera. Well. What other, are other shout-outs? Um, are you taking that behind the camera so no one can watch you while you drink it? Yes. Uh-huh. Um, is that some ice cream? I'm still... I'm always debating on the Euro place. Oh! I saw, uh, for our friends over in Union, that, um... Yamato, Yamato is going to open up for curbside and takeaway. So for some folks wanting that like sushi fix, ramen fix, yeah, they're going to uh, start doing takeout. Checking them out. Yeah. Um, check their Facebook because they did have a date when they were going to start again. We don't have all the details. And ever gearing up, down here. gearing yeah. up sushi and fresh fish takes clearly planning. Yeah, not just like, oh, let's see what we can do. So they have a specific date when they are going to open back up for takeout only. But that's an exciting option for Franklin County um, area people. <laughs> Um, who? Somebody I just saw. I don't know. It we're was, we're gearing back up. I think you're going to start seeing more curbside, mm -hmm. um, especially through May. I really think a lot of these people are going to continue curbside takeout for a little bit longer. And just you'll to see, play it safe. You'll see yeah. some of your favorites coming back with curbside, um, which I think will be great. Mm -hmm. There was um a bunch of the coffee shops. I know there was one in Herman, and I completely forgot it. I was trying to think of whether it was the red, white, and brew. That's a, no, I'm a big fan of that one. I think it was the was it the stomping grounds or mm, mm -hmm. stomping grounds. Oh. That's a good one. God damn, that white lady's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So sorry, it's so good. I like how you just abandoned what you were excited about. I drank about. half of that. Um, I mean, I have to, there's time. But uh, I have to edit these videos together. Or that's not. true. Or not. It's whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it you know, and just like Washington Coffee Shop. Exit 11. It, yep. Support those guys. We need caffeine to keep... If we're going to jumpstart everything again at some point, we need to have the caffeine to do it. So make sure they get supported. Uh, that's all I can think of for now. I think that's a... Yeah. So I think our, our recorded live, recorded not in front live. of a studio audience... I like how that's a nice way of saying we didn't put a lot of effort into this and we're sorry. And we're sorry and we hope that sorry, the, not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the internet will be back fully um, tomorrow so that we can do this live. But we wanted to get you something. God forbid we go a Monday, especially after the Monday we had. Three cocktail Monday. Three cocktail Monday. Mm -hmm. All right, so stay healthy. Uh, be safe, don't bulk by, and... Keep, Keep your spirits, your spirits up. up. There you go. Woo.